Over the past hundred years, in the region of the infamous Bermuda Triangle, about a hundred ships and aircraft have disappeared. Well, scientists are trying to find the cause of these mysterious disappearances and massive disasters in this area. Similar anomalies have appeared around the world. So what could be more dangerous than the Bermuda Triangle? Dozens of such messages are stored in the black boxes of planes that crashed over the Bermuda Triangle under mysterious circumstances. It covers the territory from the Bermuda Islands and Florida to Puerto Rico. The area of this territory is quite large and is approximately 805,000 square kilometers. It's like two Japans. In addition, it's also a place for the deepest point of the Atlantic Ocean, the Milwaukee Deep which would fit almost one and a half Mount Kilimanjaro's. Therefore, it isn't strange that the parts of many ships and aircraft missing in this region haven't been found yet. But even when the researchers managed to find the lost ships, what they saw there didn't make any sense. For example, in 1944, the U.S. Navy discovered an American ship near Florida in the Bermuda Triangle called Rubicon. All contact with it had been lost a month before it was found, when it left Cuba for Havana, so everyone believed the ship had sunk. Relatives of the passengers were going crazy trying to figure out where their loved ones had gone. The military immediately saw that the ship was safe and sound and rushed to save the people on board. But even though for three 300 people were supposed to be on board the ship. A dog that came from nowhere ran around the deck, and there wasn't a human soul to be found. All their belongings and food supplies surprisingly remained intact, as if the passengers had simply evaporated from the ship in an instant. And this isn't the only case like this. Earlier, a similar situation happened to the French ship Rosalia, which was heading to Havana from Hamburg. In 1840, it was found in the Sargasso Sea near the Bermuda Triangle. Time on this ship seemed to have been frozen as well. Lunch was waiting for the sailors in the kitchen, but there wasn't a single person on board. Only a starving canary chirped in its cage. Precisely the same story happened on the American ship called the Mary Celeste. In 1872, it was on its way from New York to Italy through the Bermuda Triangle and was found only a year later near the Azores. On board, they even found untouched treasures in the captain's cabin, as well as a surviving cat. But the crew itself seems to have evaporated as well. But the worst thing that makes this zone so deadly is the fact that it extends not only across the sea, but also into the sky. In 1945, Flight 19, a squadron of five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers, simply vanished into thin air during a routine exercise. The theory of the simultaneous failure of all five aircraft seems impossible. Besides, they were thoroughly tested before departure. There are even more logical gaps in a story of what happened to a Beechcraft Bonanza plane. On December 4, 1970, the pilot and two passengers took off from Andros Island in the Bahamas and headed for the coast of Florida. They had to cover a distance of 400 kilometers, which usually takes 90 minutes of flight time. At an altitude of 3,500 meters, the pilot saw a strange cloud of a cylindrical shape. The diameter of this pipe was more than one kilometer, and the length seemed endless. Since it was gigantic, the pilot had no choice but to passed through the cloud. When the plane flew into it, it became dark as night. Suddenly, bright white flashes began to appear around the aircraft, which illuminated everything around. However, according to the pilot, it wasn't lightning. He had already begun to say goodbye to life, but after about a minute, he saw the light at the end of the tunnel. The cloud tunnel began to narrow. At the same time, all their electronic devices stopped working, and the compass needle rotated and spun randomly. At some point, the pilot felt weightless, and the plane broke out of the clouds. At the same time, it turned out 
they were already almost in Miami. Although only 47 minutes of flight time had passed, the plane had also used much less fuel than usual. No one who was on board that day has a clue how they managed to get there ahead of time. But the most inexplicable story to this day is the loss of Pan American World Airways Flight 914 with 57 passengers on board. On July 2, 1955, the plane took off from New York and was supposed to land in Miami three hours later. But it just disappeared from all radars. Its wreckage was never found. For quite a long time, it was believed that the plane had crashed and all the passengers had died. 37 years later, the Weekly World News published an unusual article about this flight. It said that on September 9th at the Caracas airport in Venezuela, out of nowhere, a new dot appeared on the radar, as if a plane had just popped into being from non-existence. After landing, the pilot contacted the tower and asked where he was because he needed to get to the Miami airport at a specific time, namely, at 9.55 a.m. on July 2nd in 1955. The man was told it was 1992. Then the panic-stricken captain began to shout for the airport personnel not to approach his plane. He started the engines again and, without waiting for permission to take off, lifted the plane into the air, disappearing from radar again. Although these incidents in the Bermuda Triangle are quite mysterious, the weekly world news probably shouldn't be trusted. The tabloid's writers come up with paranormal explanations for all different kinds of incidents in America and around the world, so that more and more people buy their newspapers, which are excitingly different from other newspapers. Nonetheless, scientists continue to explore this dangerous zone and are still trying to find a scientific explanation for the catastrophe catastrophes that happen here. These were the last words of the pilot of flight N3808H on June 28, 1980. From the moment the message was recorded, and to this day, the plane, along with its crew, is considered missing in the Bermuda Triangle. But no one knows exactly what objects in the sky scared the pilots. Although many scientists believe they've solved the mystery of this mysterious area in the sea, each has their own theory. Some researchers suggest that the cause of shipwrecks in this area is a large number of shades and reefs, but this theory was worth considering only many years ago when wooden ships crossed the ocean. For modern equipment on ships, this isn't really a serious problem anymore. Other researchers are interested in masses of bubbles in the Bermuda Triangle waters, which appear from cracks in tectonic plates. According to these researchers, this is an explosive methane gas that turns into giant bubbles. When they reach the surface, they can destroy or even swallow an entire ship. But this theory doesn't consider that some ships that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle were nevertheless found. Moreover, absolutely intact. And yet, there is one theory that can explain this. Geologists say that during a storm, waves can generate infrasound, which has a harmful effect on the nervous system. As a result, a ship's crew panics, fear overpowers common sense, and people simply rush overboard. That's why so many ships were found in the Bermuda Triangle without passengers and with all their belongings intact. But these three theories have nothing to do with airplanes. A fairly reasonable theory was proposed by a meteorologist, one Steve Miller. In NASA satellite images, he noticed unusual hexagonal clouds with straight edges over the Bermuda Triangle. Miller suggests they're capable of generating something called aerial bombs. These are sharp currents of wind that can reach the speed of a hurricane of 300 kilometers per hour. This force is enough to sink even a fairly large ship or provoke an aircraft's demise in a matter of minutes. But to confirm this theory, additional observations are needed. After all, the pictures don't show that there are any funnels in the clouds through which the air is directed downward. 
The Bermuda Triangle has become famous thanks to a large number of investigations in the media, documentaries, and feature films. Due to this, ordinary people are also attempting to solve this mystery. For example, under an article about the triangle, in the comments, a certain Jaden Hunsaker put forward her own hypothesis. She explains why not only ships but also planes disappear in the triangle. The thing is that Christopher Columbus, during his sea voyage, in 1492 saw a flash in the sky. In his logbook, there were records that the sky suddenly became bright, after which the compass needles began to behave strangely. The girls suggest that this flash could be a magnetic asteroid, and since planes and ships are made of metal, they could just be attracted to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, to the magnetic celestial body that fell into it. Science has indeed encountered asteroids that have their own magnetic fields. But there is one thing. If such an object fell into the ocean in the 15th century, records of this would have been preserved not only in Columbus's journal. In Columbus himself, who was close to the crash site, once he felt the magnetic effect of the asteroid on himself, would have perished in a giant tsunami. But while some are trying to approach the Bermuda Triangle scientifically, conspiracy theorists have also found what they think is the most logical answer. They believe that this zone is a hotspot for alien activity, where extraterrestrial beings are abducting people to study them. Therefore, on all the ships found in the Bermuda Triangle, only animals have survived and the valuable cargo was untouched. There is a lot of evidence to support this hypothesis. One of them is documented in the Greek daily newspaper Otis Moftos Press of August 17, 1995. It had an interview with a merchant seaman and radio operator on the Polthidi SWJC called Polycarp Spensas. The sailor claimed that during one of their trips to the sea, he felt something was wrong when the ship began to go through the waves incredibly fast, although the equipment showed the use usual speed, and the sensations didn't let the sailor down. A few minutes later, a complete devilry began on board. At first, the captain of the ship became very sick. It seemed to him that his hands were very heavy, and he couldn't raise them to the helm. And the helmsman couldn't keep a steady course because the compass was spinning like crazy. The crew then noticed that all the clocks on the boat had gone ahead by two hours. Suddenly, Spences saw a large white unidentified flying object in the sky, joined by two more small ones. The sailor immediately ran to send a message about what had happened using Morse code, but noticed that he suddenly began to move very slowly. At the same time, another sailor tried to light a cigarette, but nothing came out of it because it immediately burned out. At the same time, the entire ship's crew felt an abnormally slow heartbeat. Spences is fully convinced he encountered something extraterrestrial that day day in the Bermuda Triangle that could manipulate time. Sometimes, even official institutions admit that they've noticed something strange in the Bermuda Triangle. For example, this photo was taken by the U.S. Air Force in 2020. However, attempts to unravel the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle don't end with UFO explanations. For example, writer Charles Berlitz has his own theory. He claims that earlier, on the territory of the Triangle, there could have been the capital of an ancient, developed civilization. Of course, most scientists consider such theories about the existence of lost cities only fiction and myth. But there are those who, like Berlitz, don't doubt the existence of Atlantis. The writer believes that the inventions of the ancient Atlanteans could be the cause of all the disasters in the area. He suggests that the Atlanteans had developed a formula that allows one to accumulate space energy in a crystal. With its help, it was possible to create solar and stellar rays similar to lasers. They were mainly used in construction, but in our time, they could well destroy modern technology. When a big flood covered Atlantis, the crystals also went to the bottom. But but that didn't stop them doing their job. That's why sailing or flying through this area, equipment and compasses fail. 
Unlike scientists' hypotheses, theories about UFOs in Atlantis explain all the oddities of the Triangle. But at the same time, the existence of UFOs in the mythical city of Atlantis hasn't yet been proven by science. So neither one nor the other has convincing evidence. And so we still don't know how to protect people from incidents in this area. Meanwhile, similar anomalies appear in other parts of the world. Just really briefly, what is your, um, what is the problem you're having? I have a marine emergency and I would like to speak to a QI. More than one team of sailors tried to save their ship, having gotten into dangerous waters between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. But this is not the only danger zone in the world's oceans. One of these anomalies attracts scientists, tourists, and extreme divers. We're talking about Australia, the west coast of which can be called the capital of shipwrecks. So many people died in these waters that they're legends about ghosts among the locals, and tourists to this day literally swim among the corpses. In 2022, Monique Sitchetter spent her holidays on Magnetic Island, swimming in the ocean off northern Australia. When the girl returned home and began to look through her photos, she noticed a terrible detail in one of them. In the background, a ghostly hand reaches out to her leg. This turned out to be the severed limb of a human skeleton. Back in 1770, Captain James Cook, sailing in these waters, noticed that the ship's compass was out of order, as if there was a magnet nearby. This is how Magnetic Island got its name. Due to such inexplicable anomalies and the water around Magnetic Island, in general, the entire coast of the continent, about 13,000 kilometers long, is full of the wreckage of about 1,600 sunken ships. And in these waters, the remains of the bodies of dead sailors are still being found. Since the end of the 16th century, this place has become a cemetery for Dutch, British, and Portuguese ships that were on their way from Europe to Indonesia. They went too far east, into the waters of Western Australia, and vanished. But nevertheless, mysterious events are associated with the Devil's Triangle. These were the last words of a Japanese fighter pilot in August 1945 during a crash over this zone. The Devil's Triangle spans Pacific waters near Tokyo. Judging by ancient legends, people used to believe that the ocean was home to dragons which attacked sailors. It's said that back in 1274 and 1281, Kublai Khan, the fifth great Khan of the Mongol Empire and grandson of Genghis Khan, tried to invade Japan. However, both times he mysteriously lost his ships and about 40,000 crew members. The Japanese believed that it was the gods who stopped the conquerors. Later, at the beginning of the 20th century, fishing ships and warships often sank in this area. Also, in the Dragon Triangle, a research ship with a hundred scientists who tried to unravel the anomaly disappeared without a trace. But the most exciting thing is that the Devils and Bermuda Triangles are very similar. They're located at the same latitude on the east coast of large continental masses. In the Devil's Triangle, as well as in the Bermuda Triangle, there are also some of the deepest places in the sea. In the Devil's Triangle's case, the Mariana Trench. These two anomalies are like twins, and the Japanese pilot who shouted about the open sky likely got into the same kind of cloud tunnel as the Beechcraft Bonanza plane. But there's a place in America that's scarier than the Bermuda Triangle and the Devil's Triangle combined. For hundreds of years, many strange things have been happening in the Lake Michigan region, most of which cannot be explained logically. But the most interesting thing, having collected the locations of all the incidents on one map, the researchers found that the dangerous area in these waters also forms a triangle shape. They call it 
the Michigan Triangle. It's located in the center of the largest American lake, Michigan, and in it, there have been many mystical and mysterious catastrophes. For example, in 1950, Northwest Airlines Flight 2501, carrying 55 passengers and three crew members, was flying from New York to Minneapolis. Flying over the Michigan Triangle, it seemed to disappear into thin air. But here, not only planes and boats mysteriously disappear, but people who were just walking along the coast as well. In 1978, Michigan private Christian University student Stephen Kubacki was skiing along the shores of a lake. But one day, he disappeared without a trace. When the police went looking for him, they noticed the trail of his footprints. It led along the shore of Lake Michigan and suddenly broke off. Due to the lack of any other evidence, the police thought that the guy got lost and froze to death, although his body was never found. His loved ones were still mourning their loss a year later when suddenly Stephen was found alive and well, more than a thousand kilometers from the scene. When asked what happened that day and why he ended up in this place, the guy remembered absolutely nothing. And this is not the only mystery of the Michigan Triangle. At its bottom, mysterious ancient structures have been found. However, at present, researchers are keeping the locations a secret. According to the official version, this was done in order to protect the ancient underwater ruins from vandals. Currently, scientists don't know what created these stone compositions, nature, humanity, or someone or something else. Local residents say they often see bright flashing lights above the water and believe the stone structures and disasters in this area are somehow connected to UFOs. In 1883, the sailors of the wooden tugboat Mary McLean said they saw huge blocks of ice falling from the sky all over the lake. For 30 minutes, this strange rain didn't stop and was so powerful that it left dents on the wooden surface of the tug. The crew members even kept a large piece of the ice in the pantry to show it as proof if no one believed them. But despite all the efforts of the eyewitnesses to this anomaly, their story was still perceived to be a lie. As there are few logical explanations for the occurrences in these anomalous areas, governments simply ignore the existence of these dangerous triangle zones. They aren't even marked on world maps, and thus, from year to year, passengers of planes, crews of ships, and even ordinary tourists are exposed to unknown dangers. Evidence of incidents in the Bermuda Triangle have been preserved not only in airplane black boxes. Nowadays, such catastrophes can actually be observed in real time. In 2015, two 14-year-old boys from Florida, keeping it a secret from their parents, went to the Bahamas and shared everything on Snapchat. Suddenly, one of them posted a video of an incoming storm with a tragic caption. In 2016, the Coast Guard unexpectedly found the boat of Perry Cohen and Austin Stefanos near the coast of Bermuda. Most likely, the storm brought the children into the Bermuda Triangle. The boat was empty, and the bodies of the boys were never found.